So did you, obviously uh, you were tutored by your father, almost by osmosis as you said, did you make any other specific preparations for a life in public service? Um, I wanted to um, have a law degree because I wanted something to fall back on and I never wanted to be in a position of public life where I had to make a decision to save my job more so than doing what I thought was right for the people I represented. And so I did go on to law school and I did graduate. I would want to say that my responsibility in law school was to make sure that there was an upper half uh, level in the, in the class and I fulfilled that uh, very respectfully. But I did get my law degree and uh, I then was in a position to make a decision, uh, right or wrong, uh, but I was able to make it with knowing that I didn't have to take a direction which only would save my job but not be the proper one as I would recommend it for the state to follow. And it was about that time you first ran for the state senate. That's correct. I go, again, going back to 19... Was this after you graduated? Uh, well, no. Um, I was a junior in law school and uh, I was elected in 1962 and I graduated from law school in 1964. And um, I was not yet with enough experience uh, in the state senate to pass a law which would have forbidden Marquette University Law School from disclosing my grades. <laughs> and uh, they, of course, never did, but uh, I thought that would have been a good thing to do. <laughs> but you graduated. I graduated. And while going, uh, while serving in the legislature. While serving in the, in the legislature. By the way, um, the salary at the time that I was elected was $300 a month. And uh, surprisingly enough, you could barely squeak by on that. And at that time, we had uh, two children, uh, Elaine and I, and uh, at $300 a month was a, was, a, was a pretty important factor. And I think $25 a day uh, expense money. And uh, if you would go to the old Belmont Hotel, which is now the YWCA in Madison, right across from the Capitol, for $5.25 an evening, you could get a room uh, by yourself, but you have to share uh, a bathroom. And so it was the Belmont Hotel that uh, I spent uh, a lot of nights at. Now, this was before today. Law schools and, well, many schools have all sorts of programs for adult returning education. And you can get things online. Uh, they didn't have that back then. It was not easy going to school and legislating at the same time, was it? No. Um, my senior year, I finished in the course of two years. And so also, in, in that era, uh, you did not have what you would call today a full-time legislature. Um, as I recollect, there was uh, one secretary uh, for every five senators. And uh, now, of course, it's completely flipped, where it's five assistants <laughs> almost for, for every legislator. Uh, but, but, but things were uh, a lot different. You're generally in session two days a week, and by the time the budget was supposed to have been passed as of June 30th, everything was pretty much wrapped up, and then the, the rest of the time was not filled with the type of special sessions that we, you and I are seeing right now. And uh, the legislative work was then pretty well done by June 